It's a tradition that's unique to the Peace region and popular among children and adults of all ages. The ice slides here at the High on Ice Winter Festival attract hundreds of residents to Centennial Park each Family Day weekend. It's just remarkable. It's such a great family weekend for uh, the families to come down here and the kids to enjoy these slides behind us. Kids of all ages, I might add. And uh, to try your hand at carving, it's, uh, you, you have to try it to believe it. Six ice carvers from as far away as Russia worked throughout last week to transform Centennial Park into a winter wonderland. Uh, I like it because it's really detailed and like it looks real, really real. I've actually never seen this kind of stuff before uh, except for last year, uh, but it's actually pretty cool. I've seen the pig fly so and I'm just like, oh, that's cool, Batman, but I don't like Batman when pigs fly. The slug thing, I don't know why I like it. It's just like weird looking. And the honeybird's just cool. I love Batman. I have like Batman socks and stuff. So yeah, I'm like obsessed with Batman. That's why I thought, oh, I was like, I saw it. I was like, oh, I love that one. When the sculptures were lit up, they were so beautiful. And lots of people actually stayed a lot later on Friday night than we had anticipated. So yeah, and kids were out here in the dark on the ice slides and we had this really cool blue laser light shining on them. But as the winds picked up and shifted, so did plans for Sunday's festivities. A variety of events had to be cancelled and many of the large ice sculptures had to be knocked down for the second year in a row. Yeah, wind was definitely a curveball and <laughs> it's something that we'll kind of have to plan for in the future. But unfortunately, you can't control the weather and we just have to take it as it comes and do what we can to keep people safe. Last year, warm weather prompted organizers to knock down several sculptures. But with more suitable weather conditions this year, organizers say they held off on the decision to knock down these ice sculptures for as long as they could. Within a matter of minutes, uh, a chunk fell off one of the taller ones and came down. And that's when we just say it's not worth it. It's a safety risk. And we don't want to see, obviously don't want to see anybody getting hurt out here. Um, so it's really unfortunate to take them down, but it would be even more unfortunate if somebody got hurt because of them decaying. So we had the same sort of issue happen last year where they started melting and falling. And as soon as anything becomes a safety risk, there's lots of kids here. We don't want to see anything bad happen. So we just decide, you know what? They're beautiful and we want to keep them up, but we, we don't want to see anything bad happen, so we decided to take them down. But even if Mother Nature didn't cooperate this weekend, organizers say the smiles and laughter of children enjoying these ice slides and bringing families together to celebrate the winter season is why they work so hard to host the festival. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.